Good luck, everybody, in the All-American Edition Graded Coin. Well, there's a chance for a hot box in here where there's two coins. So wouldn't that be great if we get two uh, hits coming out of here? You never know what's going to happen. We'll see. We're going to start things up with a race, and the winner here is going to get four spots. Good luck in the coin rip. And <laughs> need to adjust the... The timer here that says 30 minutes we're not that's it's not a marathon it's a it's 30 seconds <laughs> all right so good luck let's shuffle them up lucky number seven on your mark get set go big four spots on the line that's a whole bunch of years uh, that somebody's gonna own in the coin break from winning this race Kurt is up front Stephen K's got the lead. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. This is too close. Stephen K. Stephen K, you got this thing. Congratulations. That's your four spots in the break. Let's go ahead and send these uh, owner names through the randomizer and everything. Everybody's getting ready to get their gears in the box. Congrats. So we're going to random the owner names first and then the years. Seven times each and stack the list up side by side. Lucky number seven. And there's the first random. Lucky number seven. Okay, I hope it is lucky for you. If you're in the break, I want you to hit something big. I hope we pull that um, air mint coin. Looked really neat. That was from the year 2000. <laughs> so Mike Weeks, good luck hitting the air mint coin. Uh, maybe it's something from the 1800s. If it is, it'll go to random between everybody. Because the earliest year on here is 1900. Owned by Kurt. So if it's pre-1900, it goes to random between everybody. If it's er if it's past, you know, a certain year. If it's so Maybe that looks like the most recent year on here. So after that year, it will go to random. Let's see what happens.
Hit parade, granted coin. Ho, what's it gonna be coming out of here? Good luck. What do we have? Na, 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 na. What is this thing gonna be? The year is 1943. Wow, this is a wartime scent. This is so cool looking. 1943. That's Kurt. Congratulations, man. This is your hit. Your year cluster matches up here, and you're going to score this MS-64. Uh, and, yeah, that is definitely not copper. And uh, during the war... Oops, I'm hitting the key. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, way to go, man. Um, let me fix that. Yeah, I guess during the war, you know, uh, different things were going on and certain metals were just used in making war machines. And so, yeah, everybody knows the story behind this coin, right? So Joe says, yeah, it's a good grade. MS-64, congratulations. That's right, it's still a penny, but it's just a rare penny. And in this condition, especially, it's super rare to see one in this good of condition. I wonder if this coin is one of the ones featured. Because on some of these in this product, it'll tell us what the estimated values are. We could go to eBay and put in MS64 1943. They might be worth a whole lot, Joe. What this one is worth. Condition's a big factor, but just to have those coins, man, those are those are pretty rare. All right, so I am listing the next one of these, and we can kind of look at it together, see if that is listed. There's a whole bunch of great stuff in this product. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for getting in the coin break. Way to go. High five, Kurt. Hitting this coin. And here's a quick look into this thing. And uh, so the year on that was 43, huh? So I always like to look and see if it matches up to one of the bigger hits. It does not. I don't see it. Oh, look at there. There's a picture of it in the product right there. I can see a coin. That that looks like your coin right there in the picture. But um, it's not listed here. Maybe we can look it up on eBay. See if that comes up. Well, that thing is in super condition right there. MS 67. Look at that, how clean that looks. We want to see 64 grade. This has got a bid on it. Well, these aren't sold. Okay, so it's not the big monster hit. It's not one of the bigger hits in here, but hey, it is a really cool coin. And we didn't look at the back of this thing either, so let's have a look at the back. You can see that, uh, yeah, it's got that wheat, wheat scent look to it. So, well, it's a, it's a, $30. It sold for $30 recently. Yeah, if it, if it was like an MS-67, you'd be doing really good. But it sure is a beauty. What a fine piece to have in your collection. 
Definitely a conversation piece. That year is just an epic part of American history. Really cool. Wartime sense right there. Coming out and around here. It wasn't 1874. It wasn't the three cent nickel. It wasn't one of these uh, more notable hits, but still a really fun product. Really cool things coming out. It even says it right there that you can get the Lincoln Steel pennies. Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. Really cool. All right. So, yeah, there's another one of these available. We've got a bunch of different stuff going on around here. We're getting ready to rip. But yeah, that coin break is back. 